Hi guys, just want to run you through a quick video demonstrating the smart security app we have for our alarm systems at Smart and Secure Homes. Um, this is the welcome screen you'll be displayed with when you click on the Risco app on the, on your home screen. Um, and you can see on here you've got three simple options, part set, unset and set. And all you do is grab this bar at the bottom here and you slide it whichever way you wish. So if you want to set the system, just drop it over there to set. After a couple of seconds, you'll get a red outline around that. Um, and then the alarm system is activated. Um, to unset the system, all you do is simply grab the same bar, slide that back to unset. And then um, it would normally ask you for a pin number at this point, a four digit pin number. But because I've just unset it a few minutes ago, um, it, will, it will remember the pin for a few minutes. So, and that's how you unset the system. Over on part set, that's for your uh, nighttime setting up there. So uh, that will uh, turn the alarm system on while you're in bed, but obviously disable any sensors you've got upstairs. Uh, you notice you've got this bar here saying home. Uh, you can also have extra partitions on there. So you could have just your sheds or your garages covered and you can set those totally independently of the home. So you can have those permanently armed if it's down the bottom of the garden, um, but still be moving around freely in the house without the alarm system on. So you really do get total control of the security with this app. Um, if you click at the top here, you notice then you get the drop down bar and these are all the extra options the app has. So if you click on cameras, uh, you get, uh, get a list of all the uh, sensors you've got that have got cameras included. Um, we do the motion detectors with a built-in camera, but we also have the viewpoint ones, which will actually send live video through. Um, so if you click on kitchen cam, you'll see here you've got take picture. Um, so that will immediately send you a live picture through of what's happening in the house. And then on save image, you can also back that image up as well. I'll show you in a second uh, one of the images I've just taken a few minutes ago. Um, so under detectors, this is a really useful option. So here you get a list of all the sensors that are on the system. Um, and you see a little green light down the side there. That's showing you that every single device is currently active. Um, and what you can do in here is, let's say, for instance, you've got a relative staying downstairs in the living room and you don't want to have the living room sensor on. But you still want to protect the rest of the house, like the garage and the front doors, etc. Uh, what you can actually do there is click on the individual sensor and you see there it says omit. You can actually turn that individual sensor off um, and, and, and you can do that you know, per detector, you've got total control over what sensors are on and off when you set the alarm system. Really useful feature because there's not many alarms that have got that uh, that functionality. Um, under utility outputs, this is for future upgrades that are coming for the systems with being able to turn lights on and off, stuff like that. But if, we're, if you are interested in those, we have a full suite of uh, automation products on our automation tab on the homepage. Um, under event history here, you've got a full log of times that the alarm's been set and unset. And if you click on that web user snapshot there, you can see that's one of the images I've taken. Uh, if you rotate the phone sideways, you'll get the wider image um, and you can also zoom it in. Uh, the image quality you get on the app is good, but if you are looking for facial evidence, um, if you drop onto the actual Risco cloud, uh, you will see under there that you can get a much higher quality image. Um, it's twice the resolution of the one you get on the app, just due to the limited screen size, obviously, on, on mobile devices. But um, that's that's always an option for you as well on the Risco cloud. Um, under notifications here, you can see you've got the name of the person that this is assigned to. So it's under a test user at the minute. And you can see under there it says alarm, panic and fire. Um, that's basically telling you that you will get a notification come through from the app and also via email if um, if the alarm is activated, if somebody presses the panic button at the house or if there was a fire and one of the smoke detectors activated. So you can actually add smoke detectors to the alarm and, and get instant notifications and pictures through if a smoke detector activates as well. Um, always worth backing it up um, with your email address over here. Um, because that will then back it up again. You'll get an email as well as the um, Risco notification on the app. Um, under add notification, this is a really useful uh, feature as well. So you can actually add in here um, another person and as many people as you wish to be notified if the alarm system goes off. So the idea with that is that if you're away on holiday um, and you want somebody else to be looking after the house, but you don't want them to have access to the app, then you can just add in their details there and they will get notified um, as well if there's a problem. Under system settings here, that will just give you the uh, police phone number that's dialed in um, and the application version. Uh, so 
if the alarm does activate, you'll get a, the notification pop straight up. If you've if it's from one of the um, camera detectors, you'll get an, a series of images come through as well, showing you what's happening. It'll take a snapshot every so many seconds to uh, so you can see if there is actually a genuine intrusion at the property. Um, if not, you can hit the unset button on there. If it is genuine, you can press the police call button and the app will call the police for you straight away. Um, and obviously you can let them know that you've seen what's happening in the house, you've seen a burglar in there, and they know obviously it's a genuine alarm then and not a false alarm. So that's the way the Risco app works. For more information, just nip over to www.smartandsecurehomes.co.uk, click on the security tab and you get all the information about our uh, smart alarm systems. Um, also there's HD CCTV on there and our full range of home automation products. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you need us for anything, just nip over to the website. Thank you.